Today we're going to be changing the breather in our 2015 ISL9 Cummins engine here in our uh, Tiffin Allegro bus. I couldn't find any videos on how to do this. It's about a uh, 50 or $60 part and it's pretty easy to do once you get access to the top of the engine. So let's get started. I wanted to show you guys the Cummins QuickServe website. It's a great resource to find service manual information on your specific engine. You put in your uh, specific engine serial number and it will give you all the information. You can look up exactly how to do the project before you start it. As you can see, uh, once you find the uh, a procedure for changing the breather, it's laid out in simple step-by-step -step instructions that any uh, you know moderately mechanically inclined person can do this project on their own. So this is what the filter looks like, and it's part number CV50628 from Cummins. I believe it was around $50 or $60. Um, and it's really a pretty simple job. It goes right in here behind this Cummins cover. I think there are two, four, six, eight, ten. There's 11 bolts come out of there, they're 5 sixteenths. The first step in Cummins procedure for replacing this is to steam clean the top of the engine. So um, only problem with that is if I steam clean the top of the engine, all that dirt's going to go in my closet inside here. So basically what I'm going to do is I, I just have some degreaser and uh, mild degreaser it's a simple green and some blue towels and I'm just going to clean it up the best I can so I don't get any dirt inside the filter area once I open it up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be back with you cleaned up pretty well and I'm gonna go ahead and take my 5 with my screw gun and get all these suckers loose I um okay. I'll get all these loose and I'll be back with you. Take this off and see what we got. It's hard to do all of the camera here. Okay, this is what the old filter looks like. I'll go ahead and pop that out of there. Easier said than done. I need two hands for this. Oh, no, there it comes. Pretty dirty. Um, seen some pictures online and I've seen dirtier ones, so that's not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. I'll be back with you. Cummins says to clean out the lid with some uh, soap and water. So I'm gonna go ahead and carry that outside and clean that up the best I can. And it says to go ahead and it says to use a wet rag to avoid getting water down inside the engine. Uh, I'm just going to use some dry blue towels and clean it up the best I can. Okay, I just got some uh, dish soap and I'm just uh, soaping it up right now. Okay, so uh, Cummins says to wash this out with soap and water, which I did, and then to um, just use compressed air to dry it out. I did that, but it I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of a humid, rainy day, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up with some of these blue towels. And quick note, these uh, bolts are captured in there, but they actually can fall out, so be careful that you don't lose one while you're working on this. Just like that. 
Okay, I'm just finishing up, wiping out this inside here. Okay, we got everything cleaned up and we're ready to install the new element. So, basically you've got the, uh, it comes with the, the new seal is already, um, what do they call that? Vulcanized, vulcanized right into the uh, unit. So there's no new seal required. And then you have these two O-ring seals. Um, that Cummins says to use lubricating oil on so that uh, I guess so that they don't get pinched or rolled when you put it in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Sorry, it's hard to hold all this. A little bit of motor oil around that one. And a little bit around that one. And we're good to go. Give it a little push. That's that. Just check to make sure it's seated. Which it looks like it is all the way around. And Losing your bolts. Looks like we got all our bolts. Gonna put this back on. Put it back on, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hand tighten all of them. And then there's a uh, torque spec, and there's a order of uh, uh, Cummins wants you to tighten them in a certain order, and we'll go over that next. Okay, and the final step before we close the hatch is to go ahead and start the engine and check for leaks. Just like that.